welcome back to our YouTube channel everybody. This week I tackled the front door and my main motivation for tackling the front door is not what you think. My postman is a bit of a dish and for the past it's been on my to-do list to like clean the front door and sort it out. It's been full of cobwebs. I painted it a couple of years ago. It is a, excuse me, a UPVC door, which you can paint. And I painted mine a couple of years ago and I wanted to just give it a refresh. So I've got some painting UPVC in this video. Nice knocker, got a new knocker. Nicest knocker in Dublin, so it is. And I tiled the step. Well, I had a try at tile in this step. I'm gonna go straight into the video, but that is what you can expect from me in this video, and let's get into it. Here is the before of my door. Now my door was originally a white UPVC door and I painted it in Authentico Frozen Fountain Eggshell a couple of years ago. The paint is not the problem, it's just my general door area is grubby, which you can see full of cobwebs, and my step is mucky. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get the power washer out. Now, a little tip, when you are painting your door on outside, it's always recommended to do it in warm weather. So try and do this project from late spring to early autumn because it's if you do this in winter, I think there's like too much moisture in the air and your door will take longer to dry. And obviously when you're painting your door, it's going to be open. So you don't wanna have your front door open all day. I am taking off my handles on my letterbox because I actually originally wanted to replace them with new gold ones, but I'm actually going to spray them because I couldn't find in B&Q and I think I went to Woody's, I couldn't find replacement ones. Um, you have to get the ones that has the exact same screw and my screw is underneath. But then my friend Joanne sent me a link to an Irish website that has the handles that would fit my door but I had already kind of sprayed mine. So my plan is to spray the handles in Rust-Oleum's bright cop, bright, not bright copper, sorry, bright gold, and stick them on. And then if they don't wear well, I'll just replace them with the proper ones. So for painting my door, I am popping on one coat of primer and I'm gonna allow that to fully dry. While that is drying, I am going to move on and spray paint my handles. While my handles are drying, I am popping on a colour. This is the same colour that I use on the Ikea Hemnes shoe cabinet that is as you walk into the door. So this is leftover paint and it's Colour Trends Keystone is the name of it. So it's kind of like a darker green and I'm using an eggshell finish. And the primer I used was also a Colour Trend primer and it's specifically for painting the likes of difficult surfaces. So like MDF and PVC and things like that. So I'm popping on my handle and actually someone said, I actually think it was my friend Joanne again, that gold hardware or like gold on the door is like good for feng shui and it's like, you're, it's like abundance. It's like welcoming abundance into the house. Here is my golden bumblebee knocker. I love this little thing. I'll pop a little link in the description to one if you want to check it out. Now I originally wanted to have this down low but obviously because I have the glass panel in the door and the letterbox it wouldn't fit kind of above or below. So I've had to put the knocker up high and I drilled it in. It's handy enough to drill into PVC door. I actually just used a I think I used a brick drill bit, but it was a really small one and then I screwed it in. And yeah, this is how the door is looking with a fresh lick of paint and my gold hardware. I was playing around with like baskets and trinkets. I do think like I need a wreath, but I think that basket just looked a little bit lost. So now on to tiling the step. These are outdoor tiles. I got them in B&Q. They aren't marked as non-slip 
which is something I probably should have checked before buying. I bought eight squares and I used six and a half and that was just to allow for trimming and cutting them. So I placed them out first of all to make sure that I had enough and second of all to mark how like where I needed to cut. To cut them I'm using my Ryobi multi what's it called a multi a multi-material circular saw so i use this for i think the tiled table project um it's like a mini circular saw but you can replace the blade for a ceramic one i did purchase a manual tile cutter and i did not have the patience for it so um this ryobi tool cut through them with a little bit of practice i'm not a pro at cutting these just make sure you put your safety goggles on and yeah have fun cutting them but just take care when cutting them you can adjust the blade as well so that you don't cut into your table so you can adjust the depth of the cut so to stick the tiles on i popped my adhesive on then i sat the tile on top use little spacers where i needed to and i let it dry and just make sure that when you're picking like a grout or adhesive I picked up a two-in-one you need to just make sure that it can be used outside and um, just because you are tiling your step and once all of my adhesive was dry it actually took two days and it did say like 24 hours but I think I made the mistake of using too much adhesive and just be careful not to stand on the step as well while it's drying so I grouted the step after two days let the grout settle for about 20 minutes and then i used a sponge that's just soaked in water and i rinsed off any of the excess grout and then i had to go back in the next day it took me about four days to tile this tiny step and then you just polish up the tiles and then just make sure that everything is setting kind of how it should be thankfully the weather was warm so it was setting quick enough it was just me making the mistake of putting too much adhesive on. So I'm delighted with my door. It just looks so much cleaner because I don't have like a fancy, like I love watching people's like porch, like especially in Canada and America, um, you guys have these fancy like porches. Nah, in Ireland and probably the UK as well, you have like front door <laughs> and maybe a canopy. One of the things I want to do actually next year is because of my weird house layout, cause it's like a bungalow, um, a dormer bungalow, I'd love to get like a little wooden canopy to go over the front to kind of like frame the door and also I do think I need height either side of the door so I was having a quick look and because like we're coming into October 
I don't want to plant like little trees or shrubs. I want to kind of just have a little research and see what would kind of thrive there because it's a really shady spot. It's a shady and it can be a damp spot. So I have to make sure whatever I put in there has really good drainage and will be tolerate, tolerant, tolerant, tolerant to um, being in shade. I was tempted to maybe put some ferns, but I need something that's like height, you know. I also think I need a wreath. And I popped into my alcohol home sense and TK Maxx to see if they had autumnal wreaths and there was nothing yet. And then I was having a look on Etsy and not on the high street because they do like, obviously like handmade. Um, I could make my own wreath as well. That is definitely an option. Because of the shape of my door, the glass kind of, there's little dints. So I have to be careful what size wreath I get because it might come out. I don't know if that makes sense. So maybe doing a handmade one makes more sense. But I was kind of having a look on Etsy to see if I could get like little handmade ones. Um, but that's an option. But for now, it's looking clean, tidy. And yeah, I love my bee knocker. And I was kind of raging I had to put my bee knocker up so high. But I was like, I'm short. But all, all the men who knock on my door are six foot plus so they can reach it, which is all that matters. <laughs> And also just on the gold handle, I sprayed my handle in letterbox, which isn't ideal. I don't know how long that's gonna last. Like I primed it, I sprayed it and I put lacquer on it to seal it. But the reason I did that was because I couldn't find a handle that, um, a replacement gold handle. So they had loads of, there was like a brand called Yale or whatever, but you have to get the exact size with the screw. So my screw was underneath the handle on the inside. But then my friend Joanne, sent me a link and I'll put it, put it in the description so it's an Irish company and they have the replacement handles. So if you do have a PVC door like mine and you wanna replace the fittings, you can do that. And just, there's a link in the description because I think what I'll do is I'll buy one of those handles when mine goes, goes a bit, you know, if the paint starts peeling. But I reckon I'll at least get a couple of months out of it, if not kind of longer, but we shall see. I think that's everything. Oh, tiling. This time I learned that I put too much adhesive for the tiles in certain places. So, you know what? I'm so glad I would love to tile my kitchen. And you'll notice this is my second little tiling project aside from the, t the Ikea table that I have um, in the garden. So I kind of feel like I'm building my confidence to like a bigger tiling project, but it is a bit messy. It's it's a messy, there's a reason why, you know, you pay the professionals. Um, it is a bit messy. It's kind of fun and it is relaxing. I love grouting and I love wiping it off and I love polishing the tiles. Um, I'm just not great at getting the perfect cut and getting them dead straight. And I feel like if I was to do a bigger project, I'd need a bit more practice maybe. Yeah. But one lesson that I learned with the tiles this week is I put on too much adhesive, which took them longer to dry. And I should have put a little lip when um, I was getting my bathroom renovated. I noticed he has these little silver edging things, like an edger. And, and I should have edged the edge, if that makes any sense. And then just like grouted it. So I learned that lesson, but I tidied it to make it look like decent um, and hopefully nobody will trip. <laughs> um, it has been wet and thankfully no one has slipped on it. They are like floor tiles, but another thing I learned was I probably should have got anti-slip floor tiles. Now they're not marked anti-slip, but like I, I tested, you know, my niece and nephew, they're good testers because they're light on their feet. And uh, I was like, you know, run on that and they haven't slipped. But yeah, try get non-slip tiles if you're doing outdoor steps. Um, I don't know if those ones are, they weren't marked, but they're not slippy for me, so. So that's all me waffling for this week with the tiles. Delighted with me front door. Um, I hope the postman admires it. <laughs> admires me new knocker. I do actually, I don't have a working doorbell, but I'm all skilled, just knock the knocker and you'll get in. My doorbell doesn't work. It hasn't worked since I moved in eight years ago. <laughs> and my neighbor has one of those, is it a ring doorbell? And it goes bing, bing, bong. <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh, maybe I'll get like one of them, but I feel like that's too high tech for me. Yeah, I like the mystery of not knowing who's at the door. <laughs> checking a nap but I'd be like nah I'm not answering the door 
Anyway, that's the wash on over. I will see you all in next week's video. Cheeky thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and do hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and check out my recent uploads. And I'll see you all in the next video.